I want us to prepare dinner together. I'm going to be cooking some ugali and greens and some, uh, this is not, uh, what do we call mbuzi meat? Uh, I don't love the smell, but I want to prepare it in a different way so that I can see if it's going to turn out as I want. So I don't know how to prepare kienyejis. So in this house, we normally take terere, kills and skuma most oftenly but i'm trying to learn how to prepare kienyejis then maybe i will try cooking them one day in this house so i'm going to be pre-boiling the meat uh, and in the process of waiting for it to boil i'll be preparing my skumas i'll cut them into small pieces yeah and i think as i do so i will also be uh preparing ugali i think it will just be a multitasking affair here i'm just trying to grate my garlic because i will be pre-boiling my meat using it i see they don't love the smell so i really want to do away with that mbuzi smell and i thought of trying it out with garlic so i'm going to give you the review of the same Actually, I just pre-boiled it with very little water because I realized uh, it somehow looked very soft and that was actually the case by the way. I went ahead to prepare my kills and here I was just uh, trying to cut the item that had been used to tie them. I will later on clean them because it's a rainy season and uh, they seem clean but I need to rinse them thoroughly because at times uh, they may seem uh, okay but when you go to clean them you realize that they were quite dirty. And I don't know, I don't know how to do this right now. When I'm preparing my greens in the house, I usually check and recheck them. I'm usually very careful, by the way, uh, just to see if they have insects or even some uh, dust particles that are stuck in below. So if you get your skumas, if you prepare your skumas this way, how do you do it? Uh, do you just come and wash and cut or how do you exactly pre prepare yours? <laughs> Later, I just went ahead to cut them into small pieces and they were not very many. I think I only did three bunches and I was done. Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Cause we already are Addicted to the rush I never meant to fall All I wanted was a touch I prefer cutting my, my greens in the house, by the way, but the only thing I don't allow, uh, love about it 
is uh, the green uh, leaves that are usually left everywhere. I think that is the most irritating part about preparing greens in the house. Artificial love. Artificial love. We just make it up. Cause reality will never be good enough. And even if it was, we just mess it up. Cause we already lost. I took you to the right. I never meant to fall. Allow me to take this chance to just welcome the new subscribers. Karibu sana to this family. I love and we love visitors. For the returnees, I'm also grateful for coming back to just watch my content. And a lot of thanks to my premier gang for always showing up every time I upload a new video. May God bless you abundantly. Artificial love. Later on, I just went ahead to prepare the ingredients that I was using on my meat. And for the greens, I don't usually use anything. And especially that time uh, when I'm having some beef or chicken, I usually just fry them with onions and oil alone. So whatever I'm preparing, I will use it for the meat. Remember, my our meat is boiling already. So after it's uh, done boiling we will just put in our ingredients and I'm going to show you step by step up to the end So at this time my meat was already pre-boiled so I just go ahead and begin frying it and I'm not going to use another sufuria or rather a cooking pot. I'm going to use the same one that I was used for boiling. So the first step uh, every time I'm cooking my beef I usually first add oil. I will allow it to just brown a little bit then I will come in, uh, come in with my uh, my onions and garlic. Second night I've dreamt about you, babe. I On this other end, I will be frying my greens, and I said I will only use oil, onions, and that's it. I admit that I can be without you. The air that I breathe doesn't mean nothing if you're not here, giving me something I can hold on to. Baby, please don't leave. I don't know if I'm the only one who does not allow my onion to brown. You can comment below how you normally cook your greens. Or not only the greens, everything. I don't think at any time uh, I allow my onions to brown unless when I'm cooking pilau. <laughs> By the way, most of uh, the time I prefer cooking on this right side of the cooker because I, the burners uh, do not uh, release a lot of heat. Unlike this big one, if you want things to cook slowly, then you cannot use this big burner to cook because uh, uh, they normally burn quite fast. I breathe doesn't mean nothing if you're not here Giving me something I can hold on to Baby, please don't leave I think I'm just an addict of this dark soy sauce I cannot cook my meat without it And here I just added a little bit of it 
just to add the brown color and it normally has an amazing taste too <laughs> Adding the danias or the coriander means that um, the beef is ready. I only added just a little bit of water to just make it wet fry because my baby was feeding on the same meal. So the greens were ready and I had already placed them uh, just on the electric plate to rest a bit. And I just went ahead to prepare my ugali and I used the ajab flour. It has been doing me good. I love it and I love the taste so, so much. So if you can save up on this for banana cooker, I think it's worth because it really minimizes on the time that you use during cooking because you can use the three plates or even the four of them to cook at a go. Missing little moments, it was easy just feeling alive 2 a.m. wide awake, talking like we are If you have watched up to this point, I'm very grateful Thank you very much for supporting my content I will be doing the vlogmas, but I'm going to do it on a special with a special way I don't know whether it is on or with a special way so I'll be posting for all odd numbers because I think posting a video every day, uh, every day will be very hectic for me because at the same time I'm working and December is a very busy month for me. So let me, let's meet on Thursday and make sure you get tuned in for all odd number days up to the 25th of December. Thank you very much for watching. This was the outcome and it was very, very yummy. So let me see you in my next video on Thursday. Bye bye. I love you guys.